be honest with you, I thought this was just going to be a ramble about my work. Um, it ain't, because I'll try to probably talk about this. I was going to like, uh, d you know, point the camera at me, but I was like, good God, I, I don't like the way I look. To be honest with you, I'd rather you guys stare at some nice things. Yeah, I shaved my head, man. Just got sick and tired of it, man. Still going to wear hats. I love them to death. Look, like I said, stop staring at the, ma uh, the map if you want to talk about work. Yeah, I'm going to toot my... It's not to toot my own horn, to be honest with you. Oh, yeah, I'm proud of myself. The reality is it's been a long flipping process to get to this point. It happened this morning, and I went... I didn't expect it that quick this week, and... It happened, and I just stared at the screen. I was like, oh my God, you did it. You flipping did it. All right, so like I said, this is a ramble. I'll try to talk about the game and other things as well. I just want to share. I've just been freaking out, just crawling out of my skin. So, our, and it may be dry because it's work-related, and I try not to think about work, but it's, the problem is they've, presented me, they didn't task me with it, they presented me with a task or a problem, a uh, pretty difficult one as far as I'm concerned, due to the fact that I don't have any tra training in that uh, bit, but I can figure out how to get there. I just felt like a ravenous dog with a bone, man. I just couldn't let it go. Even on Friday evening, Saturday morning, I wanted to get back to work on Monday. I, I know it sounds crazy. Um, especially, look. So what it came down to is we've been tasked to make sure that our, all our documents, my sec, all of them, doesn't matter, but I've, I'm in, you know, um, part of a, or working on the maintenance and the publication of certain uh, national documents that have to be fully accessible. And a big chunk of this got out, uh, sent out to an external contractor. They've got, you know, con um, length of time for the contract and so on and so forth. Lots of moving parts. It's I, an area I don't know anything about. I, um, lot, like I said, it's a lot of things to learn. Um, I was left alone often. I did work with my boss. She's not going to be back till Wednesday. The odd thing is, I'm going to tell you, last week was one of the worst flipping from Wednesday on. Well, let's say, let's say Tuesday from to the an hour and a half before the end of Friday was one of the worst weeks I've ever had. I had a monster. I'm not, I'm not going to get into specifics, but lots, lots of really not good things happened. And then in the last hour and a half, I don't know what the hell happened. To be honest with you, it just like everything fell into place. I'll give you an example. There are several steps to make our documents and our documents are not primed to be accessible easy. Like, you know, for a, a, re, uh, like a reader, for people that uh, have difficulties uh, reading things and so on and so forth, whatever. You get the idea, but you have to be fully compliant. Here's the kicker. So we do it, we get the PDFs done, you run them through the PDF, uh, the Adobe checker, and it's like, you're good to go, man, like off you go. No, and the external ch uh, contractor was like, uh, I hope to God you realize t you can't rely on that thing. And everybody's like, whoa, what do you think? What, why can't we? So we run it through the official and they're like, try this. And so we used it, and it, this is part of, anyways, our documents went from, oh, you're good to go, to, I'm not kidding you, on average, over 1,600 errors. It was like, you're not even close to uh, being PD, uh, PDF, um, sorry, accessible and fully compliant. That being said, there's a lots of moving parts. Our documents were never designed for this. Our external contractors constantly to told us this. This is not even my flipping job. But I was just like, hmm. Uh, anyways, lots of books. I got into it. My boss and I have been hammering away at it awesomely. We've done a fantastic job on the first part. And it was a, I feel like I was like the, um, 
call it the Vanguard dude or the, the little reconnaissance, whatever. So I was, you know, off in the weeds by myself. And then I would tell them like, this is, <laughs> it's, it's not easy or whatever. And so I would help her out and, you know, eventually we get, I'm not the lead on this. Oh boy. That was at a point at hitting a brick wall real quick. This is step two or way back when, long time ago. And I had to train people or train her so she could train other people and so on and so forth. It felt often, I'm not kidding you, like the very first time I started reading the Grand Campaign for Duval Krieg, it was like, what the F is going on here, man? Now I'm like, I'm way into it and I'm starting to question things and I'm excited to see, for example, how the production uh, chart and uh, his calculus on how things work for infantry, uh, you know, making things. I'm going to start trying to see from history books Look, I'm going to say this right off the bat. For flipping sure, Dave Schroeder knows way more than me about the Great War. So let's, you know, go that way. Oh, shoot. I've got my uh, biplanes uh, out in the sun. I'll have to put them off to the side. You can't see them there. I'm just going to put them on fishing line above the war table here, which I will do before the table gets uh, popped in proper. But right now they're getting subjected to UV. That's not good. I'll just shut the drapes soon. Anyways, Dave Schroeder... I think if you used uh, link scenarios in the duration campaign with his reinforcement schedules, for sure, I don't think you have any issues to worry with. What I think I'm starting to clue into is, has he factored in uh, all the areas for being able to produce uh, the amount of divisions and so on and so forth? There's a lot of detail in his uh, text, man. A lot of it. A lot of it. So he knows what he's, like I said before, he knows what he's talking about. But I want to start seeing, does that correspond with what I hear about uh, the amount of divisions that were being produced left, right, and center? We'll see. I, like I said, uh, there's a yellow flag or a slightly yellow flag or whatever. Let's get back to uh, my little work thing. Then there was this third bit. And that was where I told you the external contractors were saying that um, you better make sure here. Anyways, I was the only one really paying attention in that regard of the third bit. And I started, you know, like I said, I'm doing reconnaissance, the vanguard or whatever. It felt amazing to get the second stage understood. I can do that with my eyes closed. Um, then we got to the third stage. And I was like, what in the hell is going on here? Remember, I'm not, I'm not trained in this. They're, I'm using a guide from their uh, stuff. But... There's yet again more moving parts, the documents that people, uh, the external contractor have been playing with. They're not using a template. So different uh, people working on the different documents are naming things differently. So they're not corresponding with the guide and on and on and on. I was just like, Jesus Christ, this is nuts. I just went, Chris, use what you're doing with, uh, you know, learning this and it's back and forth. It's this beautiful little feedback. Don't worry about it, man. You're just engineering things. You know, break things, see how it works. Put it back together again. Just one little step. Oh my God, it was, it's fun. I, lo I love uh, doing those things. Any hoots, like I said, 1,000 on average, about 1,600 errors. I kept plugging away, kept plugging away, kept plugging away. And Friday afternoon, I went down to one error. Oh, but still not compliant. <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, must be a clerical thing or something I missed. Um, so Monday morning, I go, out at, go at it again. Like I said, I just go, Chris, you're going to run into a brick wall. It's okay. You step back. Do you remember what it was like to learn, you know, uh, math back in the day? You, you go forward, stop. And, you know, if you don't understand, you go back. Do that again and again and again, then you go forward. You'll clue it. Anyways. So I did whatever I did uh, this morning and went and, you know, clicked on the, the super checker. And I actually looked away. <laughs> I've just, I've been like, uh, what do you call it? I've just been like, ugh. I thought it was going to happen. Disappointed so many times. I'm like... Oh, whatever. And then I turned around and looked at the screen and it said, you're good to go. No errors. I was like, uh, 
well, I didn't scream, but I, I came close, but I didn't do the fact that, thank God, some self-preservation thing kicked in. Um, the person behind me in the office is a close uh, connection with the uh, assistant deputy minister. She probably would have popped in a complaint, but I was like, you have no idea. I've been working on this man for over, you know, all summer long, like even in the spring. And lately it's been feeling, you know, I've been by myself, man. It's not been fun. You know, I want to, like I said, uh, even with my boss, it's been nice to interact, but I just haven't had that opportunity. So, but I just kept plugging away. Um, and even on, uh, you have no idea what I had to do last week to get to this point. I remembered my allegiance to my siege lord. Um, and um, I thought about Excalibur and I thought about Brian Blessed. And I had to do some stuff I didn't want to do, but look where we are now. Anyways, yes! it doesn't matter. I'm still clunky, but I told somebody um, kind of like above her because she's not back till Wednesday. That, that sucked. I couldn't get to talk to her. Was that, um, well, I did say though on Friday because she said I'm not going to be in Monday, Tuesday. I said, I've got a good feeling that I will send you a message with a screenshot of the report with no errors. And today... Um, I sent off the machinery or whatever you want to call it for that uh, publication to go uh, to the public. And it's going to be the first time a fully accessible document from our organization is, is going. I'm not going to tell you because then I get into funky business. I don't want to get into that YouTube weirdo, weirdo thing with work. Um, ugh, just suck F off, man. Um, Okay, let's do a super quickie thing here and then I'll, I'm going to go and do my thing because I have to start like calming down. But Jesus H, I just think now I'm like, like I said, throw it at me. I don't care. Like throw it at me. Uh, I'm going to be clunky at first, but I under, I can do everything, man. Every flipping thing. All right. So what have I been doing with the Germans? I'm doing what I think I should be doing with the Germans, which is... Um, being, oh uh, God, I hollowed out this. I've just been divisionally breakdowning troops like there's no tomorrow. I just needed to do it, man. So there's a lot of regular troops now that have been turned into brigades. I just got to do it. Almost finished doing the 12th uh, Army. I've got the 8th Army done. Um, then we're, it's weird. I'm almost going backwards because the 9th Army are, is my thrust. However, I want to see what I've got left with the thrust due to the fact that I've got to be realistic. I don't know if that's the way to go, but that's the way I'm going. Like I've said before, I can't do anything in this sector until May. And it's still going to be clunky due to the fact I've got to try to convert Russian rail every second turn. So I went, what the hell are you doing? Why are you putting all kinds of troops there? Even if... And I, I don't know that, but that's where they're going. The Russians are going to go towards Wooch. I'm like, fine. I'll melt like, sur like butter in the summer. But I'm telling you one thing. We're going to contract towards Wooch. I'm not going to put up a fight. I'm going to supply all the counterattacks. But I'm going to contract towards my line of communication. And away we go. It's okay. So tons of brigades, tons of cavalry, tons of not very good stuff. Still got to get me out of a trench, etc., etc. Diversionary attack with the 12th Army, but still lots of brigades here. But I'll put a little bit of oomph because I want the Russians to kind of, you know, stay honest. 8th Army, yet again, I just don't see either side, and it's probably not going to happen. Either side's going to do anything, so there's hardly anybody here either. I'm telling you, man, in my world, if you were you got to be sent to Warsaw or anywhere in this area, you were like, oh, thank God. Thank God. Um, so the 11th Army is going to be my support towards the 9th. I think there's going to be a bloodbath and a half going on here. That's for flipping sure. I don't know if I'm going to still do anything uh, yet, but I'm going to have it. I'm going to use my 11th as my 
reserve, in a sense, I stripped all my reserve troops, had them all untrained. Uh, that's out of the window. I, I had to pop them in. Actually, I think a significant number of them are going to be over here. So most of the reserve troops are going to be here. What did that mean? I'll give you what that means. So I've got a remainder of, and I'm so flipping happy. Remember, these are my terms. These are not Duvrault Creek terms. I'm just whatever about like elite troops, regular troops, reserve troops. But I think you get the, the idea. So I have 20 positions left here. Huh? Listen to this. Remember, I'm trying to be like, I still got some uh, artillery to do and so on and so forth. I want to perhaps do a secondary simultaneous attack here. I'm not sure yet. It's, uh, it's just because I've been reading a hack of a lot about uh, um, The Price of Glory by Alistair Horn. I mentioned it uh, in last week's live stream. Verdun. Yet again, with Falkenheim being too uh, narrow and some, you know, whatever. I'm not sure. We'll see. Um, I've got, so there, I've got 20 hexes left to fill up. Okay, here's the beauty. Because I've thinned or diluted the whatever as much as I could. I'm happy. I'm very happy. Uh, so I've got 20, uh, 20 positions. So that's, um, what, 400 kilometers. I've got 24 elite infantry divisions, so that's uh, an eight, uh, eight strength points. I've got nine regular infantry divisions, so I've got a total of 33 infantry divisions to fit up, fill 30, uh, uh, sorry, 20 hexes, and I still got my siege artillery, and I've got a few more uh, cal uh, cavalry dudes left. Well, I'm not gonna really use them, but I'm happy, and like I said before, this, Terrain here is all clear. Look, I'm not going to win the war this way, but I'm telling you one thing. I'm going to cause some flipping grief, and we're not thinking about winning the war this, at least I'm not thinking about winning this war this way. I'm thinking operationally, uh, what's the best way to put me in a position later on to win the war? Let you guys up there figure it out. But if I think I'm going to win the war operationally, uh -uh, not going down that road, man. I think that's the road where you start getting into the um, uh, the realm of Falkenhayn, thinking you can win the war via uh, um, Verdun, and that's just a no-go. You have to, uh, I'm, no, I'm not an operationalist, even though I love uh, playing operational warfare. I I don't think that's the way to win the war. Not now anymore. I don't, maybe in Napoleon land or something, I don't know, but not here, not here. This is, this is gone, uh, it's gone to another place. You know, this is, uh, when they say total war, they mean total war. That's it, oh my. Sorry, I'm just hoping the rest of the week goes crazy beauty like this, because if it does, I mean, like the person I told uh, this morning about, it, I was like, I did it, I did it, it's over. We can do anything we want now, like it doesn't matter. And she was like, oh my God, I, you know, and I was like, 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 I'll show you what I do. I'll, I'll, I'll show everyone. I was just like, it's over. We can do it, you know? Like, bring it on. Bring it on. Oh, F. I'm so up and happy, man. I've got, I've got four more days to like, oh, anyways. And then, sweet Jesus jumping mother. I'm, yeah, I'm, like I said, I'm super duper ultra happy what I did with the, uh, the Germans right now. We'll fiddle this up a little bit more and then we're off to the Russians. Oh, Jesus jumping. That's going to be strange. All right. Hope you're having a fantastic time. I certainly am.